हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल इन टूडेज क्लास आई टीच यू वन मोर वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक नेम्ड फ्रूटफुल फंक्शंस एंड वाइड फंक्शंस फ्रॉम पाइथॉन दिस टॉपिक इज रियली वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल वन इफ यू गेट ए क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस इन विच यू मेन एग्जाम यू आर द लकी स्टूडेंट to answer this question just listen to me for 10 minutes so that you can get the knowledge as well as you can attempt this question in examination first we discuss about what are fruitful functions as we know already function is a sub program that also contains a set of instructions to do specific task this is what a function it takes three inputs p t r it calculates the simple interest p t r divided by 100 that will be stored there and uh, it returns that result back to the called function this is a function it takes input it will process and gives the result back this is what we call fruitful functions fruitful functions means what these functions will take input these functions will process these functions will give the result back that's why these are called fruitful functions for to explain about this in examination the functions that will take input process and returns a value that means as an answer to the called function he is called fruitful function i hope you understood this is what a fruitful function i called this function in the python main program here i am calling here si into bracket p p t t r r first uh, before passing these values i have to read no that's i am reading the principal amount that will be stored in p p i read the uh, sorry i did mistake here it should be time period enter uh, time period afterwards what you need to do uh, you need to read the rate of interest enter rate of interest okay means principal amount will be stored in pp time period will be stored in tt rate of interest will be stored in rr that when i pass here means this function calculates and gives the result back that will be stored in answer that will be printed on terminal this is what all about fruitful functions i hope you understood next i explain you what do you mean by void function as we know already void means no value at all okay uh, then what are void functions look at another example here uh, this is one more function you can see here this is one more function function name is address but interesting thing what you can see here is that it is not taking any input it is not giving us any value back also it will not take input it will uh, not giving any value back also okay but it does one particular work for us it prints the address mr john henry department of mechanical engineering vld ct vijaypur just we are calling this function inside the python main program whenever we call this function here this address will be printed this is also a function but important thing what we need to observe here is that it will not return any value it will not return any value but they are doing this function is doing the work for us that's a void function the functions that will take input means that may take or that that may not the function that will take input that will process but do not return a value but does specific work for us that is what we call void functions void functions means they do the work for us but they do not return a value back these functions may take the input or may not these are called void functions this is very simple example i hope you understood okay uh, see these images also your mind get relaxed okay uh, now in my notes already i explained you about the fruitful and void functions just i will show for you okay fruitful functions i explained here these are the functions with arguments and returns a value these functions will take the input returns a value after processing these functions will take input process and gives the result back to the called function that means data transmission will be there between called and calling function called function and calling function called function is the function whichever we call calling function is the python main program 
I give a very simple example. Author has given these examples. Import math package. I am using the function power 2 raised to 3 how much. This is the example for fruitful function. Because it takes the input, it is giving the result back. That's for fruitful. 2 raised to 3, 8 will be stored there. Print it. See another example. Square root. It is taking one input as well as it gives the square root back. That's why this is also fruitful function. See this example. And uh, some more examples uh, I have given in my notes to for two functions to find square and cube of a number. This is a function. It takes one input. It returns uh, square. This is another function. It takes cube and returns here one mistake I did here. Semicolon, a colon I have not given. You need to give. Just I read a number. I pass to square. I get the result back. I pass x to the cube. I get the result back. I print both. These two are fruitful functions. These functions are taking input as well as giving the result back. Like this in exam, explain fruitful functions, give some examples like this, as well as some examples like this. If you give no, value it will be happier because of which you get good marks that helps you to settle in your life also. Wide functions. These are the functions that will not return any value back to the called function, but they do the work for us. See one other example given in my notes. Print underscore twice message. This function takes one input. Means are passing one message. Whatever it receives, that prints for twice. Enter a message. To, no, I call inside the Python main program. Enter a message to be print. Uh, for example, I enter BLDE. A BLDE will be stored in M. Then print twice. I am passing that BLDE. BLDE will be passed here. It prints twice. BLDE, BLDE. This is what such examples are given by author in the book. That's why I have written these things uh, in my notes. Usually, evaluator refers the recommended book by the university. Usually, expectations of the evaluator will be the same how the author explained in the book. That's why first gain the knowledge, then try to impress the evaluator by giving more than one example. If you do so, no, you get very good marks as well as uh, uh, bright future is waiting for you. See another example, a python code to read student name and display with appropriate message. This is a function, it reads name, it displays back hello name, all the best for python exam. I am calling here, enter student name, if I enter here John, John will be stored in NA, that when I pass here, that means I get the result like this, enter student name as John, hello John, all the best for python examination. This is what all about today's class. These are the uh, programs. This is a function to convert the temperature reading from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Already I explained in my last class. This takes Fahrenheit as an input. It converts into Celsius. It gives back. Here I am calling. This is what uh, fruitful function. This is a write a function to convert temperature reading from Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is the formula. We read Celsius. We are passing Celsius. We convert into Fahrenheit. Then we are printing. Just I read the Celsius, I am passing, I am going, going to get the result back, that when I print. These two are important. If you refer old question papers, there we find questions on these such programs. That's for please practice. Uh, I hope you understood. Uh, this is what all about uh, today's class. That means in today's class, you learnt fruitful and wide functions in Python. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.